Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome to this video. Today we are talking about Electric Sunrise by Pliny. I am so stoked about this. I first learned about Pliny last year. My buddy Hunter told me about him, and then it was a few weeks ago that I found the Rick Beato What Makes This Song Great video about this song, Electric Sunrise, and I just couldn't get the song out of my head. I had to learn it, so I've kind of been playing it over and over, and I sort of figured out how to play kind of the first minute and a half or so, or two minutes of the song. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. I've written out a, a simpler drum part than what you just saw me play. Um, it's, it's kind of the bones of the drum part, so I can explain the timing and the counting of the beats and uh, the syncopation that's happening. So let's get into it. Okay, so first let's talk about this main riff. So 13-8, what that means is there are 13 eighth notes making up each measure, okay? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 31, <laughs> okay? But there's different ways to count it. In the Rick Beato video, he talks about counting four groups of three and then one at the end. So 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 1. You could also count just four quarter notes and then a bar of 5, 8 at the end. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I would recommend trying to feel more of the quarter note pulse because that's really what the drum part is built around, is feeling more of the quarter note rather than the eighth notes. It took me a little bit to figure out how to play this, but it's really just two main things that are happening. So if you can focus on this, it kind of makes the groove make sense. So the first thing is that your kick drum is just matching up with that guitar rhythm. So now you're playing a dotted eighth note on the kick drum. So every third, sixteenth note. The key with figuring out where the snares land is just focusing on playing quarter notes with your right hand on the crash. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one. So because you're doing quarter notes with your right hand across both measures, it's going to be on the beat on the first measure and then off the beat. In the first measure, you're going to have two snares. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, one. And then your crash is on the offbeat. And you don't hit the snare again in the second measure You until the crash lines up on the beat. So still going at the quarter notes. It's a little weird at first, but um, that's really the key is just wait, kind of anticipate when that quarter note in the second measure lands on the beat again. That's where you put the snare. Let's hear how the 13-8, uh, just this simplified version sound. So check this out. All right, so once you make it through the 13-8 section, next we're going to talk about this 4-4 four, four, uh, riff that happens. So we start off with three beats of rest. The guitars are going to come in with their little uh, lead line. Okay, and we're right into the rhythm. We're going to catch the last 4 16th notes of that um, first measure on the hi-hat. When you're looking through this section, try to identify some patterns. Uh, notice that the end of the... Uh, fourth measure there's a break so you hit the snare back beat and then you have three beats of rest then you're back in on the next snare notice also that on the first third and seventh measures you have six sixteenth notes after the snare drum and um, there's one little tricky spot that comes on the sixth measure there's only four uh hits after the snare got da 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 dun. they like sustain that note just take your time counting through that now i modified this a little bit because i do not have a double kick pedal <laughs> So I'm kind of using my single kick and my floor tom, and I'm not actually playing every single 16th note that's written here, um, but uh, you'll at least still be able to see the rhythms as it's going along with the transcription. So check out this section. Okay, so on to the next eight measures. This is much simpler compared to what you just just learned. So 
All you need to look, look for here is um, that this is a four measure phrase actually. Um, it's a shorter phrase and the trick is knowing that on beat two, you have four 16th notes in a row after the backbeat on the snare. Kick drum happening on the uh of beat one and then and and four. <laughs> so one, a uh, two, three, and four. One, a uh, two, three, da 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 da. One, a uh, two, three, da da. One, a uh, two, three, do do. Check out how this one sounds with the transcription. Again, I don't have a double pedal, so I'm playing that four note grouping with my kick and my floor tom. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this lesson. Hopefully, this helped you understand the drumming in Electric Sunrise by Pliny. I'll put the uh, transcription in the description of the video, so you can download that if you want to. If you're looking to learn some drum fills, head over to my website, jaredshantos.com. You can download my drum fill lesson pack. It's got a PDF with 10 drum fills and a uh, video for each one, so you can learn those if you're looking to learn some new fills. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. Let me know what uh, lessons or topics you'd like me to cover in future videos. And that's all I got for you guys. Thank you so much, and uh, I'll see you next time.